and me, that was in the top 10 for story time when you searched it on, on YouTube and I still have a lot of views? What the fuck is this? So sad, KKK, KKK. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. Man, what's going on? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. It's your man, bro. I'm back better than ever, man. Like, for real, though. Like, I don't know why I was showing that. But it, that shit was, like, around my neck trying to choke me. So, I'm like, that. But, yo, what's going on, guys? It, like I said, I'm back better than ever. And we back with these story times. So, we going to hit straight to it. No time to converse. Numbers from the old. Well, let me stop playing. But, yeah, no time to converse. Let's go straight to the story time. Today's story time, I'm going to talk about, like, when a homeless man followed me my, on my way home. So, basically, boom, here's how it went. So, 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 yeah, yeah, the homeless man. So, I was, like, coming from, from work, and this was, like, probably, like, two years ago, 2017. I was coming home from work, like, anything, walking, Enjoying my music, vibing to Tupac, the nice music. What y'all know about that? Vibing to like the old Chris Brown. You talking about, wee, 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 wee. like, you don't know about that. Like the good old days, like hip hop or the good Wayne being the gold. Like, <laughs> all that good shit, 50 Cent, man, man. So I'm bumping, I'm vibing, I'm in my zone, basically coming from work, relaxing, chilling. And then I started walking, and there was this homeless guy. I always see him stick around and it's always like near 7 Eleven in the corner. And you know in the corner in Biscayne Boulevard in, in the boulevard. <laughs> so yeah. But it don't matter what, what corner he was in. He was in the corner in 7 Eleven. So basically, like um he usually there asking people for money, things like that. So he asked me for money and he saw me like had snacks in my hand. But these snacks, mind you, y'all know about the 7-Eleven rewards points, right? You could get that and get free shit. Like, you, you vibing. Like, you don't even got to pay shit. Like, if you got the, the, the enough points, you could buy yourself a whole pizza box. So I had my pizza box. I had a juice. The shit costs, like, how much for, like, the the, 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 the big gold? Like, eight, nine, six, barely a dollar. So, yeah. So I had those two. We think, and I had money. So he asked me for money, and I was like, no, I'm broken. And I started walking. So you would think, okay, he got things like that, like he, he, he ain't tripping, things like that. So um, the guy basically, <laughs> like, bro, he went, he went and basically, I, I said, no, I don't got no money. And he's like, you ain't got no money, but he got the beast ball. I said, so every day at work, bro, like, not that I need to, uh, like, like, basically, like, um, explain myself. So I started walking. And then I was walking for a minute till I realized Buddy was following me. I turned around and I see the buddy like this, like all oh, old. Oh, he had like uh, teared up pants, no shirt, and I, I'm like looking at him and he looking at me. And I start walking. This, but, but he still following me. He following me. And I'm like, and I turn. I'm like, hey, um, I'm like, I don't know where you think you're going, but I'm not gonna like. You need to go f find somewhere else because you ain't gonna follow me all the way home and shit like that. He said, tell me how you don't got no money. <laughs> that pass you by and say they ain't got shit i told you straight up i'm like 70 11 reward points like i don't got the money it's just like the rewards and then basically i got the points and then i got the free stuff like even that shit still stuff you pay for because you have to pay over time to earn those points so you technically pay for it but you did it because you got it free with the points but you you know what i mean so basically i'm like yeah and then he's like he's like oh like you tell him you can't you don't got like even the five dollars and i'm like no, I said you need to like go find someone else to follow because you ain't gonna follow me all the way home. And I start walking again, listening to music in my zone. I turned around, bro. After three blocks, this guy's still behind me, and I'm saying, "Hey, if if you continue following me, we gonna have problems. Either I'm gonna call or the, or the cops, or I'm gonna spit you on your shit. Spit you on your shit, me like, mm, like, like you you gonna hit them straight in their jaw, like fuck they shit up, like you get me. So split you and your shit. I don't know how y'all say, it, but in the South Florida shit, like Orlando, Miami, Dade County, three hundred five to that down, like you know, like basically, like that who's gonna split you in your shit. And then basically, he's like, he like, he said, well, I wanna see you split me in my shit. So now, 
now we technically know this nigga try to look for issues because he now saying, I want to see you spit you be, spit me in my shit. I'm not trying to find no issue. I'm just trying to get home, bro. Like, I'm just trying to like accept your like accept that I don't got the money. Like continue living your life. God bless. Like one of these days I could see you I, I love help up in the home. I help homeless with my church. So he acting like I really didn't want to help him, but I'm like, bro, like you go about to turn a Christian into losing their religion up in here and beat your ass. Like, and then what's gonna happen? The cops gonna come and, then, and then, you trying to win a case that you, bro, you can't win, bro. Just if you know what's good for you, just stop following me. Like, bro, don't make me lose my religion up in here. All right, man. And then he said, I want to see you split my shit. That's all he kept on saying. So then. <laughs> okay, and then I said, okay, and I turned around just like that. So, bam, I turned around, and I kept walking. So, as I'm walking, <coughs> I hear footsteps, and I start walking slower. I start walking slower, and then he, he walking, he, 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 he pacing up. And I went, pop, I, I just turned around and went, pop, and then, like, everybody heard it, bro, because I, I, like, I swung with somebody that was being antagonized, like being irritated. I went pop, and when I did it, so I don't know if this guy was fragile, but then you saw blood. Blood was all in my fist and shit like that. And he spit, he was like, he spit heavy blood, and like pop. And then basically he just started. Um, he 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 hit me. I hit him. Hit him. And I, I picked him up with vam. I flipped this. I'm six three, bro. I told you. This nigga like five, like five, five, and I took, pick him up and bam. Like, I'm not celebrating being a homeless person. That's the first thing I want y'all to know. This guy is a bona fide crackhead. Like, he needed help, and many people try to help him. I was in one of the churches that tried to help him. He didn't want the help. He said, you going to either give him drugs or don't tell him any shit. He don't want nobody help. He's like, he's like, like not not Uncle Ruckus, but somebody that like, what was that card that said, I ain't, I don't like Uncle, like your cinnamon Sam from Looney Tunes. Like, I don't need nobody. I don't need no help. Like he's that guy. So when people try to help him and things like that, and I've tried to help him many times in the past. So in no way am I glorifying, again, I repeat, glorifying what I did because I'm a Christian person, but I, I was tired. I'm just trying to get home and you try to see where I live. And if he's like, we was just getting too close to my house. And, and now my life, I know you ain't going to follow me all the way home. And then I flipped him and I slammed him on, on the floor. Now he got, <laughs> I ain't know he had hands like that. I flipped him on the table. He still a pop. He just uppercut me like he caught me good. And that made I went pip and he went pip. He stole me. Then he kicked me uh, uh, like on my side. He kicked me. Then he kicked me in my stomach. Then he punched me in the face. I went pip. I stole his ass. Bip, bip. And basically, people started seeing fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They started making up. Oh, my he said, hey, you don't know me, man. You don't know me. I'm going to sue your wife. I'm going to sue your wife. And he said, what's your name? I said, my name is John Paul. He said, all right, John Paul. Watch. I know how you look like. I know how you look like. My name John Paul. <laughs> he said, John Paul, I'm gonna remember. And they hold like, hey, 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 hey. that was this is like probably like, let me see. This is probably like because I live in a new place. This is probably like like a good 15 minute car ride from here. So like I don't live in over there anymore, but he was like pissed off and people was holding us back. And me, I'm like, I'm holding my jaw. And like, I was pissed. Like, I'm just like somebody trying to get home into this. But like, he really was pissing me off. And then it just got to that level. And then like, it was costly shit like that. Like, but they ain't know where I live. Like, basically, pe I, people saw me. I kept walking. I ain't telling no my information. I went to my house and I was looking out the window. I was like, this, they looking for me, but they looking for John Paul. <laughs> like, I ain't know John Paul. So, bro, shit was crazy, bro. Beating a nigga ass. I ain't see him at near 7 Eleven anymore. He just, I, sometimes people need that good ass whooping to get that good ass chicken. I mean, that's a basic uh, get put in their place. He was looking for ass whooping. I gave it to him. I delivered him, bro. I saved him from himself. And that's all it was to it. And y'all already know, check out the, the story time playlist. I got so much great stories. Y'all have to check it out. And I want to say thank you for everyone who's always been supporting me. Remember, like, like subscribe 
and hit the comment. It's your man C to a J to a C, and I'm out. Be breezy.